Hi everyone! Welcome to another educational video. Today, my feature is about traditional Filipino games or laro ng lahi. Although, bihira na po siyang laruin sa ating panahon because of online games and gadgets. So ngayon, maglaro po tayo! <laughs> Luksong Baka, Jump Over the Cow A popular variation of Luksong Tinik, one player crouches while the other players jump over her. The crouching player gradually stands up as the game progresses, making it harder for the other players to jump over her. Palo Sebo is a traditional Filipino game where players climb a bamboo pole with grease, and whoever gets the flag on top of the pole wins. Pitik Bulag. This game involves two players. One covers his eyes with a hand while the other flicks a finger over the hand covering the eyes. The person with the covered eyes gives a number with his hand the same time the other does. If their numbers are the same, then they exchange roles in the game. Luksong Tinik. Two players serve as the base of the Tinik by putting their right or left feet and hand together. A starting point is set by all the players, giving enough runway for the player to achieve a higher jump. So as not to hit the tinik, player of the other team jump over the tinik, followed by other team members. If a player hit either hands or feet of the base player, he is out or will be punished. Sipa, it has been the national sport of the Philippines until 2009. Here, the object used to play the game is also called sipa. It is made of a washer with colorful threads, usually plastic straw attached to it. It can also be played using a rattan ball or lid washer covered in cloth or plastic. The sipa is then thrown upwards for the player to toss using their foot. The player must not allow sipa to touch the ground by hitting it several times with their foot, just above the knee. The one with the most number of kicks wins. Patintero, also called Harangantaga, is one of the most popular Filipino street games. There are two teams playing, the attack and defense team. The attack team must try to run and cross the line without touching or catching them. Kakad is a crucial Filipino game used for recreation. It is a racing game played with stills, preferably made out of bamboo or tall branches. Luksong Lubid This game is similar to the Western Jump Rope game. The game is played with two players, holding the rope on each end, making a circular movement, where the other player must jump inside without touching any part of the rope. Tumbang Preso is a popular Filipino street game also known as Presohan. The game requires three or more players. Each player is provided with a large throwaway object called Pamato. A semi-flattened empty can is placed in a upright position. A player is thrown as the prisoner who will guard the empty can. The other players stand at the throwing line. They take turns throwing their pamato at the empty can, trying to knock it down. As soon as the can is knocked down, the prisoner must put back the tin in upright position before he can tag any of the players attempting to recover their pamato. If the pamato becomes too close to the tin in an upright position so that the prisoner can step on both with one foot, the owner of the pamato becomes the new prisoner. The prisoner can also tag the players while recovering their pamato outside the throwing line. A player must recover his pamato should he be tagged by the prisoner before he reaches the throwing line. He becomes the prisoner in the next game. Pico, the players stand behind the edge of a box and each should throw their cue ball. The first to play is determined depending on the player's agreement. Whoever succeeds by throwing the cue ball nearest to the place that they have agreed upon will play first. The next nearest is second and so on. The person is out for the round if they stand with both feet. 
Ampun. <laughs> Nakakapagod pa, pero masaya. Laro ng lahi are important because they keep the cultural values of our ancestors alive. It helps in the social, emotional stability, mental learning, and physical abilities through outdoor activities. I encourage everyone na panatilihing buhay ang laro ng lahi. But of course, pagkatapos pa po ng pandemic. Again, I'm Yesa. See you in the next video. Wow! Wow! <laughs>